All right, I'm starting to get lots of materials here on my desk. Um, I've got my car's body and the propeller uh, shaft. I've got wheels. Um, I'm gonna set those aside right now. I've got four wheels. Um, and now my next part is to um, start creating the axles for my vehicle. Um, and then I'll, I'll create the propeller shaft. Um, for the axles, I need two different sized paper clips. I'm gonna get one um, that's a, a larger paper clip and one that's a smaller paper clip. Um, and I need both of those. Um, and uh, again, this is something you can experiment with. I'm gonna use um, this as a uh, model. Um, and we're basically gonna just straighten both of these paper clips. Um, and one of the things that can be a little bit tricky as I am straightening these is, especially this last one, is kinda tricky to get because I don't have a whole lot to um, hang on to. Um, and so you can see it's not quite straight yet, but I'm just gonna move on to my next, uh, my next paper clip. I wanna straighten them both out and getting pretty close here. Again, that last part's a little bit difficult. Now, one of the things that's really important with our paper clips is we want our paper clips to be as straight as possible. So you are gonna need to um, devise a plan to get your paper clip as straight as you possibly can. You might wanna use some help from somebody. You might use a desk. Um, you want to get those paper clips as straight as you can. Um, however, I'm going to give you a caution um, with a new paper clip here. If I'm trying to straighten my paper clips and I start bending and twisting um, those paper clips a lot, um, I might actually, one, make it harder to straighten, but two, by twisting, if I'm trying to twist, a lot of times what that's going to do is that's going to actually weaken your paper clip um, to a way that it might actually break. Okay, so our next step is to get those paper clips totally straightened out.